Hey guys, you know me, I ask the questions that you never wanted to know the answer to in the first place. And today's question is, can a mountain bike light be too powerful? Now you can see Magic Shine um, have sent me quite a few lights recently, and in return, in return, in return, I'm not actually sure what they get in return for that. Um, Oh, that's right, I do remember. They sent me the Montier 12,000. That's 12,000 lumens. Um, now, to put that into context, I did a review a couple of years back of a light that was 1,200 lumens and rode around the forest quite happily with that. Um, so 12,000 lumens is pretty damn powerful. Now, I got sent this light uh, back in the winter time before it was in production, and Magic Shine wanted to get some of my feedback on it. And so that's pretty much what I did, and I'll show you some of the footage very soon. Um, there was, they did actually listen, that was amazingly enough. Uh, they changed some of the instructions so that people like me could actually understand it. And they also um, changed the bracket because I said it needed to be a bit wider to fit some of the, the headsets. So they did that as well. So um, maybe I did give them in something in return. So the good news is that this light is now in production and if you want to buy one, um, I will um, put a link up for you. But wait, there's more. Should we do Suzanne Paul one more time? But wait, there's more! Now, for those of you not from New Zealand, Suzanne Paul's like an infomercial legend, been doing it for decades. Um, but anyway, yes, there is more. Um, there'll be a discount code, and I believe you can use that discount code whenever you like to buy any of the Magic Shine lights, so that's pretty cool. So 12,000 lumen light, I've got all these other lights as well. What do you think I did? It's not going to be the same as everybody else, is it? So anyway, um, this is what I did do. Hey guys, first night ride of the year and just getting my Magic Shine lights ready. I'll just show you my setup quickly. This is the Montier 5000. I've got this on a strap on the top of uh, my helmet. Now before I go on any further, I should point out that I'm the sort of guy that if a little bit of something is good, a lot of it has to be great. I'm the sort of person who goes for burger and chips and they go, do you want to upsize? Of course I want to upsize. So anyway, hold with me on that thought. So. Now, on the front here, I've got the Magic Shine MJ906, 4,500 lumens. So that's 9,500 lumens on my helmet. Now, some of you are thinking like, Lance, Lance, you're doing this all wrong. You, don't, you want one of them on your helmet and one of them on your handlebars. I've got a light on my handlebars. This is the Magic Shine Montier... 12,000 lumens. To put that in perspective, I think the sun is about 10,000 lumens. So this is pretty powerful. So we're going to have 12,000 plus 5,000 plus 4,500, which is is a really lot of lumens. It's going to be really, really bright. Um, there'll probably be some um, blind possums out in the forest and hopefully not um, a few other mountain bikers as well. It does come with a, a remote control on your handlebars, so you can quickly uh, shut the light down to a lower setting and not blind people, so that's pretty cool. So anyway, I'm going to take this out in the forest. However, you're thinking, well, if I've got three lights on the front, I've got three lights on the back. Let me show you that. All right, now I know that I'm being a little bit stupid here. Hey, but... <laughs> If you watch my videos, you're pretty much used to that by now. So we've got the CME 20, the CME 200, and the CME DV. And, and this one actually takes um, video um, from the back, so interested to see what that looks like. So yeah, I know I'm mad, um, but it's all good fun. Um, let's go take this thing for a ride in the forest at night, eh? See you there. Okay, I think it's officially dark now, so time to test out. This is, so first up, I've just got the, the headlight on which is the Montier 12000. Now this light um, is not in production yet. Uh, Magic Shine have asked me for my feedback on it, so that's what I'm doing today. So it's potentially, it, things could change before it comes into production. So you probably won't see this footage, well when you do see it, it's probably quite old. But as you can see, it certainly lights up the trail pretty well. It's a pretty wide beam. One thing I do quite like on this light is it actually has a a little remote and so you can just press a button and drop the light back down and when you press the square button I think it is the light goes on to full power and uh, that's really useful because sometimes I must admit I'm always pressing buttons and never sure if I'm on full power and press one too many and then I'm on low power and you know you cycle around that again but yeah just one button onto maximum power and then it's say one button again you can drop the power so that because I must admit, it was a bit embarrassing. I was setting up some cameras 
and then I realized that some kid was trying to ride with a hand over her face and I said am I blinding you and she said yes so <laughs> I must have been I was obviously shining the lights directly at where she was trying to ride am I blinding you <laughs> sorry <laughs> but as you can see it really does light the trail up well, You do get, you can see the odd shadow, um, and I think that's where it comes in, where as I say, sometimes having a headlight as well, just gets rid of that, that little shadow over the edge of drops and things. We've got the tail lights on as well. I think people must think I'm mad, but most people know me out here now and they just are used to the fact that I'm slightly eccentric. All right, so at the moment we've just got the 5000 lumen Montier 5000 on and uh, it certainly is, I mean, when I first got this light, I thought it was amazingly powerful and it is, but yeah, certainly it's not as powerful as the 12000 lumen one. A bit, of, a bit of mud. All right, and I've just stopped, and now I've switched over to the MJ906S, and this is 4,500 lumens. And I really like this light. Um, it's quite a small compact little light but yeah certainly throws out a pretty good beam and this one is underneath the visor of my helmet which is quite a nice little spot could be angled up slightly I might have it might tilt it slightly let's do that Actually, that's quite a quite a big improvement. Actually, um, it's all about having the the angle of the light looking where you're looking, not looking at the ground. So, lights are funny thing. I've tested quite a few lights now, and I've ridden some with now I think as low as 1,200 lumens, and ridden around the forest very successfully with it. But generally speaking, more light is better all right so that's 4500 lumens let's just flick so that's in a 5000 so that's 9500 lumens if i just click the oops that's not on let's turn that on okay so that's what 21500 lumens looks like so let's give this a whirl eh Oh, that is just magic. Look at that. Look at that. That just lights up the forest brilliantly. It is an overkill, don't get me wrong. But uh, hey, I'm all about the overkill. Woohoo, it probably doesn't show it on the GoPro. But that is such an amazing feeling, just looking at that light. Okay, I'm going to leave it on this for a while and just see how many people I can annoy. Alright, so what did I think of this? This, my friends, is seriously cool. Um, very powerful, lit, lights up the whole forest. Um, in all honesty, I mean, I always said you, it's good to have two lights, but this light is powerful enough that you could easily ride without a light on your head, and it lights up the trail so well that this is all you really need. In fact, it does come with a mount that you can um, put on your head, but in all honesty, I think it's probably the light's a little bit big and the battery's probably a little bit heavy. I think it's probably better on the bike. Now to put it on the bike, it does have this bracket, um, does require some Allen keys, but once it's on the bike, 
it is very secure. It didn't move at all. It does have a, uh, the ability to change the angle of the light without having to use an Allen key, so you could do that mid-ride without any tools, um, and that was qu quite convenient. But yeah, sat on the bike and uh, didn't shake loose at all. One of the things I really did like was this little tiny remote thing. This is seriously cool. This was one of my favorite features. One of the things I find with uh, some of the lights is you're riding around in the dark and you want to put it on ma maximum power. And so you've got to press it three or is it four times to get to the maximum power. And what invariably you do is you can't remember if it's three or four. So you press one too many times and you go back to the lowest power setting and then you click it up again and you still can't remember whether it's three or four and you keep cycling around like this. This has a button where you just press the button and it goes to maximum power setting. Um, and, uh, and then when you're riding along, say you come across some people and they're stopped and you want to have a chat and you don't want to blind them, um, it's a bit like dipping your car headlights. You can, um, you can drop the power or turn the light off altogether before you get to them and blind them. So I really, really did like the remote and think that's a really, really cool feature. Um, it may seem a gimmick, but actually I thought that was the, one of the coolest things. Uh, the light um, has five LEDs. It has like a floodlight at the front and then sort of spotlights on the outside. And there is an app and it's very customizable. So you can kind of set it up exactly how you want it. Um, you can either have a sort of very central beam or you can have a wide beam and light up all the side, which is really useful for mountain biking. That's why I say I didn't really need a headlight because it had such a wide beam. You could see around the corners. You didn't really need to feel. You actually had to look around the corner. Uh, so yeah, I think two and a half hours um, on maximum power with this battery, um, but on the lowest setting, I think it goes for 120 hours. So if you were just using it on your commuter bike, you could probably just charge this thing up once a month or something like that and just ride to work every day. So, um, so that's pretty cool. USB-C charger, it has a battery uh, indicator on the back so you can see how much battery you've got. So I guess the question is, is this light simply ridiculous, uh, 12,000 lumens, or did I like it and would I keep using it? Um, well, as far as I'm concerned, I, I loved it. Um, there will be some people, and they're probably single speed, fully rigid mountain bikers who like to ride around with poor visibility. But for me, an e-biker who likes lots of travel and likes a, a, a cushy life, uh, this was awesome. You just felt the light almost like you were riding in daylight. It was it was brilliant. So for me, um, as I say, it's a little on the heavy side. And so if you're a weight weenie, this may not be the best option for you. But if you're sitting this on your top tube and this is securely on your handlebars, um, I really liked it. And I'm, I'm definitely going to use this as my go-to light. I'll probably still... Uh, stick um, this little one on the handlebar just so that when you're looking around you've got a little bit of light on your head as well um, but this will be my main light that I use for all night rides now this is seriously cool don't forget if you do want to buy one there'll be a, a, a link to, to this if you want to if you want to check that out and as I say don't forget there's also the discount code I'd love to thank Magic Shine for um, I don't know having faith in me as I say to send me all this stuff and and uh, apparently I'm not mad, although many people may think I am. Um, if you haven't subscribed and you're new to my channel, I'd love, you, love it if you did that. I'm gonna leave the end of the video. I had all the lights on and I decided to do a jump run down how good. Um, so I'll leave you with that. Um, but don't forget, uh, leave a comment and uh, thumbs up like, and um, well, we'll see you on the next one. All right, this is what how good looks like in the dark. Woo! Testing out uh, some new magic shine lights. Whoa, woo! That's a bit scary in the dark. Oh. They actually got 21,000 lumens on. Can't tell you too much about it as they're still a prototype, but I'll show you more when it comes out. But it uh, pretty much turns the track into daytime.